the rocks and soil of the Piedmont neutralize acidity. Piedmont streams are typically less steep, less acidic, and warmer than most western Maryland streams. Like those in western Maryland, healthy Piedmont streams have a variety of rocks, boulders, and wood. This complex habitat, along with warmer water, results in some of the greatest abundances of stream fish found in Maryland. Highly sensitive brook trout were once found throughout the Piedmont as well as the mountains. But due to human impacts, they are presently restricted to only a few small streams in the Piedmont. Another fish that inhabits healthy Piedmont streams is the rosy side dace. The rosy side dace gets its name from the bright red band that runs along its side. Like many other minnows, male rosy side dace grow bumps on their head and back during the breeding season that make them more attractive to females. Rosy side dace do not tolerate most pollution and are only found in relatively healthy streams. The mottled sculpin is one of the most abundant fish in Maryland. They are most numerous in Piedmont streams with large riffles that are free from silt These riffles provide places for the sculpins to hide, feed, and lay their eggs. However, if the riffles become filled with silt, sculpins, insects, and many other stream inhabitants are left without adequate places to live. One of the major contributors to silt and other pollutants in the Piedmont is urban development. The most highly urbanized areas in Maryland are found in the Piedmont, where many streams have been converted to cement-lined ditches, or channeled underground. The land surrounding these streams has been covered with asphalt for parking lots and roads. Water flows quickly over these surfaces after rain showers. This fast moving water erodes stream banks. Soil eroded from the stream bank makes its way into the stream, eliminating spaces where many stream dwelling creatures live. Although many fish do not tolerate silt and other forms of stream pollution, a few species persist in degraded urban streams. Black-nosed dace are very common in Maryland because they are tolerant of most kinds of pollution. Another tolerant species of fish is the American eel. These fish live for many years in streams before returning to their birthplace in the Sargasso Sea to reproduce. Barriers to migration, however, such as dams, halt migrations of many young eels and other migratory fish. In the absence of these barriers, eels once made their way from the ocean to streams throughout Maryland. Eels still inhabit much of the Piedmont and are very common in the third region of Maryland streams, the coastal plain. <laughs> 